hello guys you're welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing tips that will help you win the tony Lilly foundation grant in 2023 from the perspective of a pharmacist who won that of 2022 just as the first shots like first attempt so basically what i feel you need to first do is to understand what problem you want to solve like you need to identify a problem in your immediate environment look for a problem that people have not been solving and that people really need solutions to so that being said you need to understand who are your target audience like who are your target market who are the people that need this solution who are the people experiencing this problem that you're trying to find a solution to Number three is that you need to understand how can I present my solution? How do I intend to solve this problem? Okay, take for instance, during my own time, I, I had a mind to help people with chronic diseases just because I felt like most, most of the time when they go to the hospital to see doctors, they majorly attend to their medication needs and not their psychological or let's say mental needs oftentimes doctors are overwhelmed they have a lot of patients on the queue that they need to attend to and you know now with this current jackpot syndrome a lot of doctors have left and are still living in nigeria and so the little that are remaining the few doctors that are left have like you know the kind of work they do i work in the hospital so i understand the the overwhelming number of patients that each doctor has to attend to so because of the limited time that they have to spend with patients they don't give the necessary attention to chronically ill patients and come to think of it in nigeria as a whole you cannot see psychologists or psychiatric doctors or psychologists are not easy to come by like you cannot just wake up one morning and say you're going to see a psychologist or a that a psychiatric doctor in the hospital is going to take like forever. So I just felt that there was a need to help this category of people solve not just their medication needs, but also their psychological needs. And that was why I, I came up with the idea of starting a pharmacy that would only focus on chronically ill patients. But then <laughs> things did not go as planned. You would have thought that that was a perfect plan and all that. I had... I had a problem that I wanted to solve and I understood the people I was targeting. But then you need to think about profitability, scalability. Like one of my patients, while I was doing my market research, sat me down and told me, okay, this is a brilliant idea. But if you have to do this, that means that if somebody is down with malaria and also is chronically ill at the same time, if they come to your pharmacy, they will only get their medication for their chronic ailment. You only give them the psychological. Um, you only give them the psychological support. You give them the medication for their chronic ailment. But what about the acute ailments? And that was where I realized that I was not where I was going yet. So, having identified all these things, you still need to consider profitability. You need to consider. Um, you need to think critically. To you know, you are presenting an idea to people who are knowledgeable. How would they take your idea? And that brings me to the point that I stated earlier on that you don't have to be rigid. You need to be flexible in your idea. I've met a lady that said she applied in 2021 but was not awarded. She didn't, she was not shortlisted. And I asked her, okay, what sector did you apply? She said fashion. So I told her, see, you don't necessarily have to stay in fashion. You can try to tailor your fashion towards tech. So when I realized that, I might not be making so much sense. I tried to make further research and I, you know, tailored my solution to tech. Like, okay, if we have an app that can bridge the gap between doctors and patients and patients don't really need to leave their homes to come to the hospital. Patients don't really need to queue. They don't need to spend transportation fare before they can communicate with doctors. All they need to do is come online, download the app, get the app, you know, register their medical history on this app, and then you can schedule time that they want to speak with 
a particular doctor, like irrespective of the area of specialization, they can choose to speak with a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a nutritionist. They can just speak with any kind of doctor they want to. You know, some of these patients, they don't really need the medication alone. If you give them time, to you give them time for them to express themselves, you know, to be vulnerable before you, you will see that they will even get better. Like their medication will work better because you know that there are some patients that are using medicines and their conditions are not improving. Maybe it's due to psychological issues. You know, when they are stressed, when they are not getting psychological support, mental support, and it's not helping their medication outcome. So you can choose to speak with a doctor online. And the best part is that you don't even ha- need to see the doctor physically if you don't want to. It could be an audio call. And if you want to, you know, extend it further, you can book a physical appointment. If you enjoy the services of such a uh, physician, you can book a physical appointment. So do you understand what I'm saying? If you have a business idea, don't just come with the norm. Don't come with a typical business idea that is already in existence, that people don't do it the same way everyone is doing it. Like, for instance, if you want, if you're a farmer, you have a poultry farm, and you cannot just say you have a poultry farm, you want to buy pullets, and you want to, you know, start raising your pullets just like every other normal farmer. You have to think outside the box. And a way to go about that is don't target the same people that others are targeting. You can start by targeting some set of people that people are not focusing on. Okay, I am a poultry farmer. I want to get pullets and start raising my chicks. But then I'm not going to be selling to everybody. I want to target eateries. I want to sell to eateries because, of course, they make pastries. They make um, pastries, cakes. So I want to target all these um, malls and eateries. That's where I want to be supplying my eggs to. You know, you're already deviating from the norm. Like, you're not doing it like a typical farmer would do. Or you would say, okay, I want to target um, the companies. Companies that, that are into uh, manufacturing of bread, that are manufacturing bread. You see that you're doing it in a unique way now because you're bringing some sort of uniqueness to your business. And that way, you might get better chances at being shortlisted in 2023. So basically do that. But aside understanding all these things, you really need to do well at your business management training. And one thing that I realized during the business management training was that you can actually refresh. I told you I'm not here to mess around.